Microsurvey in CAD 2020 works with your AutoCAD 2020 products, including Civil 3D, Map 3D, and AutoCAD. This is a significant release for NCAD, and it includes many new features. I'd like to review a few of them with you now. Let's begin by selecting NCAD 2020, where you can see our new AutoCAD version selector. From here, you can choose the version of NCAD that you'd like to use, uh, rather than previous versions where it just used the last opened AutoCAD. To start, I'm going to select Autodesk Civil 3D 2020. New for NCAD 2020, you can choose gradients or gons for your directions, and we have added over 125 new coordinate systems, including Australia GDA 2020 systems, several European systems, uh, United States OCRS systems, a uh, few new African systems for Namibia and Morocco, and more. NCAD 2020 introduces smart point blocks. As you'll see here, my labels for my point are all individual objects. But if we go to System Toggles, CAD Drawing Controls, and check Point Blocks On, existing points in your drawing will be converted to smart point blocks. Now you can move these with a leader, and you can even reset them. This could be a very handy feature when working with points in close proximity to each other because you'll be able to hover over each and see which one it is. NCAD 2020 also introduces smart polylines which can be labeled just like smart lines, and if points are moved, the labels and line work automatically update. NCAD 2020 includes the new GIS import command. To run it, go to the MS Tools tab on your ribbon and click Shapefile Import. Select a shape file and click open. You can now review the coordinate system in the file, apply a coordinate system, you can apply an elevation from the various attributes in your shape file, uh, you can review available attributes, you can automatically add lines and points to the database using the node settings, but for now I'm just going to use this and we're going to click import. And here I have my shapefile brought in as polylines, which have been elevated. Now I'd like to add one of these to the database. I'm going to click auto, or type auto P to add automatic points to an object. I'm going to select a line and I'll hit enter. and points have been added. Notice that these points are 2D points. They do line up. But that's a little difficult to work with. One of the new features in NCAD 2020 is the 3D point labels. We'll turn that on. And the labels for these points are brought up to the right elevation. Let me do a quick rescale here. And I can even turn on IPNs. Also in NCAD 2020, we have Bing imagery. We can select Bing maps, agree to the Microsoft terms of use, and let's preview it. There's a couple different options for settings here. 
um, including moving the image after it's imported, but I don't want to do that in this case. And I'm just going to click OK. And instantly, an image has been inserted into the drawing in the appropriate location. Also new in NCAD 2020 is a Trimble Job XML importer found here and the compare tools which in this case it's going to be a little bit different but this allows us to see differences between two AutoCAD drawings and a revision bubble between them so there's one there's my other AutoCAD drawing around zero zero but you get the idea Thank you for watching this video on NCAD 2020.